Let's try this. There we go. Okay. We are setting up for a P39 career. So I've got it filtered down to the P39s early as possible, which looks to be basically um, April of 1943. And it appears that there are three airfields here I can choose from. This one. High to the north, this one. Ooh. That is, imagine doing anything from that airfield, yikes. Or this one. Oh, okay, 16 and 45 are together, so. I guess those are kind of my options here. 16 or 45. Doesn't seem to me like it makes a whole lot of difference. So maybe we'll do 16. Yes. Let's do. Look at that. Vladislav Kornilov. Far East Aeroflot pilot. Hey, sounds great. By appointment, Iron Man. Ooh, cutscene time. The defeat at Stalingrad in the beginning of 1943 forces German High Command to begin pulling back its Army Group A from the North Caucasus region. The 1st Panzer Army pulls back to Rostov and the 17th Army retreats into the Kuban area. The 17th Army sets up strong defensive positions known as the Kuban Blue Line. The 17th Army's position is only threatened by the Soviet beachhead at Malaya Zemlya to the south of Novorossiysk. On April 17th, German High Command begins Operation Neptune, an assault on Soviet Marines with the help of strong artillery and airstrikes. In spite of uh -oh. this, the Soviets defend their position successfully, giving little ground. From April 18th through the 20th, the Germans continued the assault, trying to flank the Soviets to the north. German HE-111 bombers, Ju-87 Stuka dive bombers flying from airfields in Crimea, along with their fighter escorts, into the battle. On April 20th, Soviet air regiments arrived from Stavka reserves and joined the fray, significantly bolstering the Soviet air forces in the Kuban region. A huge air battle begins above the beachhead that will continue for many days. The increased Soviet air presence dooms Operation Neptune to failure. All right, a good full set of 12 guys. All right, who else is new? There's a handful of us that are kind of on the new side. Foma, uh, Georgie, <laughs> Georgie Popov, and Terrace. All right. All right. Well, well, we'll consider them my guys for now then. They are the other junior lieutenants like myself. So try to remember their names. Foma, Gr uh, Georgie, and Terrace. All right. And we've got uh, 10 P-39s ready for action. It is... Uh, Transitioning to the 18th of April, 1943. We'll see how High Command wants us to support the effort. It seems like the 
uh, the real focus of the action is a pretty good ways away, so. Alright, let's have a look at the planning room. Oh, two small flights. Interesting. Two small flights of four. A bomber intercept. E. Okay. The only reason I say E is I just finished a career where I, uh, well, I perished on a, bo intercept, a bomber intercept mission. Uh, clipped wings with a, um, I'm guessing it was a JU-88. So that's interesting, and it's interesting that there's four of us, but there's Terras, my boy. What Terras and our commander... <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Uh, I don't even know how to begin to say that. There's too many consonants rammed together without vowels. Don't work. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get this going. We'll see... Uh... See if I can remember the main things to remember in a P-39 are temperatures. You know, water you can run actually pretty hot in a P-39. But oil you got to keep a little cooler. You want to keep it below uh, below 90. Water I think you can do, you know, just over 100. And then um, uh, RPM you want to keep around 2600 with 37 inches manifold pressure. But let's... Uh, I don't know what the uh, fuel situation here needs to be, so I'm going to... Where's the uh, chili? There he is. That's what I like to fly for a P-39 skin, the red nose. Okay. Well, they give me plenty of options. I think I support that one, but I'd like to take the extra ammo. And I'm okay with high explosive rounds. Oh, that's extra 30s. Yeah, I just don't really care for the 30 cals. I mean, even 50 cals are not real, real good. It's not a whole lot of ammo either, so... Just have to be ready to get out if the ammo runs thin. And you can put a bunch of 30s, but they're not going to do a lot for you. Alright, well, we'll give this a whirl. We'll kind of live and learn here as far as these missions go and what a good setup is. So, yeah, that does look like a pretty long flight path. Wouldn't have minded getting a little bit of a closer airfield. I think what I'll watch is as we kind of transition through chapters, maybe there will be some closer ones that open up and I can try to transfer forward. But for now, here's what we got, so. Um, this all looks fine. I didn't see anywhere to set the options. Hmm. Maybe I missed that. I may have to come back and do that uh, later. Which is okay. So yeah, it's gonna start me in the mid-air, which is also okay, I guess. Alright, give me control. Seemingly a tiny cockpit. Alright, we're on 26 and 37. Coolant could be higher. Aggressive rudder trim there, it seems. T 
touchy prop. cockpit feels very cramped. Quite decent visibility though. I do believe we've got a pretty long flight ahead of us here, so strap in. And P-39 is not a real fast bird either, so we'll see how this goes. The thing that maybe we'll have going for us is that cannon really punches. So for a bomber intercept mission, that might be pretty good. Spotted one o'clock high. Oh, yeah, they're closer than I thought. Or oh, shoot, we moved faster than I thought. All right, looks like six of them. I don't see fighters yet, but it did kind of seem like he said something about a fighter, didn't it? All right. Well. Oh, be careful there, bud. You're just kind of sitting there. I'm gonna punch a little more. We're just kind of trailing here. We'll never get anybody at that rate. I'm trying to catch that forward bunch. There's my manifold pressure there. it up to 40 or so. You can hardly catch up to these guys, much less are we going to be able to um, really engage with them. I am going to try and climb a little here. Because if I could... Oh, these are Stukas also. Okay. This is like the longest setup for an attack. Oh, they're turning. That works quite nicely in my favor. Tell which one he's looking at. Let's go ahead and see about getting in here. Okay. Some good hits there from my cannon. Where's the third one that's still up here? Whew. He's 
going to have a hard time recovering from that. Let's dive down toward this one, huh? Man, maybe starting in the air is the way to go to keep this, like, manageable mission durations. You still have to go home and land, but maybe it saves you the, uh, a little trouble. Oh, there he is. Lost him in the cloud. Okay. Yeah, clearly I'm going a lot faster than him. Uh, something's shooting at me. Oh. I think that's a 109 possibly on my tail. A little hard to say. It does kind of look like a 109. My mission is the Stukas. And I think that 109 kind of bugged off anyway, for now. He's coming back around though. Damaged him pretty good. Let's head back this way. I'm not really here for kills as much as. Doing damage. I think that's a 39. There's a Stuka that I just crossed with. That's 39. Ooh, I lost that Suka in the cloud. There he is. Seem to have lost some engine controls here. I don't know what to do about that. Stoop is pretty quick, and I can't. Uh, I can't do anything to. Excite. First, oh, we're catching him. All right. Well, slow and steady wins the race. Maybe, maybe.
That's interesting. I've got to figure out what that's all about. Somehow using the uh, key that I use for um, engaging my cannon. Well, what's going on now? It's either windy or something weird's going on. I'm having some control problems. Alright, I need to get home if I can, if at all possible. Temperatures look fine. Could have closed my oil rad a little further, I think. Now that looks like it's going to be a long flight back to uh, home plate here. So interesting. Maybe they don't start you over your home base. You just got to end up there. I wonder if you've even got to end up there. Dare I risk it? It says I can green finish. And I am over friendly lines. I wonder if that's worth a shot. It's probably worth a shot on the first mission. Because at least on the first mission, if it goes south, you know, we haven't lost a whole lot of anything. I'm just wondering if it would count it as a lost plane or something like that, you know? Or worse, a death. Hey, let's try it. We're living and learning. Bye. Okay, one medium plane. I'm kind of surprised that that's all. Intercept flight canceled, it says. What is that going to say? It says it was. Well, let's wait a minute. Huh. Accomplished. I got one, and my boy Nidzislav. <laughs> Maybe I'll just call him Kamarov. He got one. So, okay, that's good to know. I don't necessarily have to run these things to and from their completion. All right, here's the uh, settings. I mean, that was definitely, uh, we could make that a little bit more interesting. Maybe I'll keep that scatter just to... Save on CPU. I've got a little bit of an older CPU. So definitely that's interesting. Maybe this is the way to go, is uh, is in air. Because the thing of it is, you spend a lot of time flying. Like, that's a long way, especially for... For just any of these missions we're not even talking bomber escort or something like that if I had to escort bombers that 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 far like that would just be painfully long so I think I'll stick with this in air uh, I mean land and takeoffs is is fun but uh, apparently isn't necessary just get over friendly lines I assume and complete your objectives so I guess that bit that bit maybe uh I'll have to kind of bear in mind, but, uh, eh, interesting. Let's proceed. Let's see how the boys do on the second mission. Looks like that was successful. Holy cow, they went a, they went a long way. Let's look at the, um, yeah, yeah, they just did fine. 
They didn't get anything, but they survived, so. It's good. It's good. So, uh, Komarov. We'll just keep calling him Komarov. He's, he's contesting with me for, um, takeouts. Okay. Well, let's advance to the next day and take a look at the situation. I have to think about whatever the whatever the control binding is that's causing my engine to cut out to. I know it's related to using my cannons. Okay, it's a little cool, but not bad. And a bit windy, though. So. Oh, we got two P-39s. I don't think we needed more P-39s, but that's all right. Golly, they're having us fly a long way. See, that's why I really think it's going to be important to, uh... Oh, they didn't even put me on the mission for day two. Yeah. All right. Lame. I'm the best you've got. It's all right. I'll let them have it. We got two planes really early on there. Um before we've even lost anything, so it's just kind of surprising. Oh. Let me plane spotted crossing again. Did they put me on that one? They did. Okay, more bomber intercept, so that's fine. I wonder if I can come here and just say, yo. I really want to be Kudachov. Yeah, it does basically know what loadout I want, though, so there's that. That's fine. Let's go ahead and start. Starting in air is apparently the way to go. That can save on the time, that is just the pure time that is involved in these long, long missions. When what you want is the action. You want the action. This all looks fine. Just accept it. Alright. We'll jump in. And basically what I'm thinking to do is just find the engine controls. And disable them. Yeah, I'm sure that's what was getting me. Somehow I was hitting those combos without really realizing it. Alright, so we will try this. Now they've placed us, I assume... Yep, right on target. Okay, nice. Wake up the plane here from autopilot. Temps are a little low. Oil, I can't actually do much with it. But my coolant, I can bring down a little bit. I'm looking for the target. I thought they said they might have seen it. I don't see it yet. I 
that yet. I don't really appreciate how much we're flying through the clouds. I can't hardly see. Trim up a little here. I didn't check who my wingmen were this time around. Oh, they should have. Them, so I'm just gonna relax it here a little bit. It is very windy. Find something. Not very good at calling out uh, when they spot something. I uh, so far haven't seen anything. I just follow them. I assume they're operating on some kind of knowledge that I do not share. Punch up to about 37. Temps are very cool. anything yet other than my wingman we can get a little more performance out of this by sort of watching the temps and closing radiators Where are we going? Are we just going to circle here until they show up? Is that the plan? I mean, that's not a bad plan if we know they're going to show up here. It would appear that that is the exact plan. Circle and wait. Gusty. 12 o'clock high, range 9. And if they're high, then I'm going high. And if they're 12, then I'm going 12. Uh, yep, there they are. Definitely high. Definitely 12. Alright, boys. Let's make pay. They do have fighter escorts. I count three. And six Stukas. So we are pretty badly outnumbered. That's wonderful. They've got energy. And they've got better planes. I'm nervous. About that one. It's a ways off, but uh... all right. Let's punch a little harder. All right. I mean, I gotta remember our objective 
is the Stukas. So regardless of what else might happen, I've got to try and put some rounds on the Stukas. Alright. I'm going to push pretty hard here. They're dog fighting back there. It seems like a horrible idea. There's one P39 with me. We're gonna have to focus on the back ones here, just so that we can do something. Because if we break them up, that's a small victory. And a small victory is better than no victory. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go. Shot my engine right out. Alright. I assume that's what happened. Let's see if we can bring her back. I might have brought her back. But I am wounded pretty badly, I think. So I don't know that I should keep it with this. home yet. Let's try to bring her back up. We don't have to do a lot here, but we have to do more. There. Alright, I'm out. If I can get home, I'm getting home. At this point. We shook him up enough. I am injured. I'm pretty surprised my airplane's still flying. If only because... The engine got knocked out at one point there, so I can't really explain why it's still flying. Pumps are all fine. They're fine within its limits. As near as I can tell, there's nobody on me. Alright. It's just windy. Very windy. Oh, that's some wind. Nothing like sniping in a P-39 in high wind. Yeah, they shot me up pretty good there. Alright. I'm trying to get a good feel for how far it really is to home. it may not even be all that far. It seems far. Looking at the map, but I mean... I'm making good time. I guess they're back on it, but I, I'm not gonna engage. Not again. They shot me up too good. I can't remember if he's one of my guys or not. I'm actually doing pretty good speed. 
That's one thing I've noticed about the P39. It doesn't feel fast. But then you look down at the speedometer, it's like, oh, I'm doing 300 miles an hour. That's not bad. So I'm sort of thinking at this, at this point, I may just bring it home. I think starting in the air is the way to go, though. It puts it right into the action right away. There's a little less time to, like, get your plane situated, though. Which I do like having that time to kind of tune everything, dial it all in. Running nice and cool. Yeah, I'm a little surprised I never had to tangle with those fighters. It seems like they uh, went after maybe some of our other guys, and then there was two of us 39s that were able to stay on tack. I just hope they make it out, you know? I'm a little worried about them. And yeah, also very much confused. Like, my engine just but then started back up again, so yeah, pretty interesting. I can't help but wonder if I hit the shutoff switch and that's what's going on. I mean, that's very possible. I have the uh, control for my cannons right next to uh, the engine control switch. So that's really that's really quite possible. Well I see three lights down here, so hopefully that means all three of us have made it back. It looks promising. All four of us, I should say, the three others and me. I just gotta try and find the runway in my injured state. Might just be a dirt field. Chop throttle. Keep wanting me to go back for them, but I think they don't want me to land, but I think I've got to land. Tricycle wheels, right? Easy, easy to land, easy to taxi. Same with the P38. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't necessarily think we were gonna make it home that time. They are hitting our airfield, though. I think, and I guess nobody actually went down. But uh, for whatever reason, they still called it a success. I assume, uh, assume because we scared a few off, and at least lessened the impact of that bombing run, which again, apparently was on our airfield. Very interesting stuff. Ooh. He's okay, but... Actually, isn't that me? <laughs> In retrospect, I think that's me. 
I was wounded. I mean, that's true. I think I was probably fine. I made it home. My name Vladislav Kornilov, yeah. Well, that's a little ridiculous, don't you think? I'm fine, guys, I'm fine. Well, they may uh, drop me out of a couple of days worth of missions then. Uh, April 19th, I got wounded. I mean, on, all in all here, we're doing okay. Um, a lot of uh, bomber intercept missions, which are really dangerous. You're facing off with, you know, in these cases, six tail gunners. That's not trivial. More enemy planes crossing the lines. But I am not on the intercept squadron they did deploy me though so i guess i did recover quickly so that at least is good although that was the 19th they skipped a bunch of days yeah in hospital in hospital in hospital for three days i was in the hospital i hope we didn't lose anyone in those three days it rather looks like we did not yeah, I'm pretty sure that means it's as if nothing happened those days, I, I'm guessing. I could be wrong about that, but that's my guess. Well, let's do another day here. We're on to... Uh, we're on to April 23rd now, 1943. And I've got escort ground attack planes... Possibly that'll be a good one to um, to end this run with. I could probably use a break. So the bomber intercept went well. Demian Romanko got a got a kill. Good for him. All right. So now we've got uh, escort ground attack planes. I'm not sure there's much ways that they can sort of make this short. That's just a long thing to do. Alright, so we're going there. I guess attacking that city. Georgie? Georgie Popov? That's me as Kornilov. And Alex, okay. I don't know that I've flown with Alex yet, so that's great. Kutacho. That looks fine. Alright, let's see what it's about. If I had to guess... Yeah, we've just taken off and we've got to join up with the, uh, join up with the bombers, so it's really not going to save me that much time then. Maybe I'll go back to starting on the airfield then. Oh, they're going real slow. Not the blast pass lead here. We really put the brakes on. Looks like it threw off some of the other guys too. We don't wreck.
looking fairly good. I just gotta find. Oh, there's our guys. The IL2s, maybe? Getting a little high, actually cooling too. We'll open her back up a little here. Oof, windy. It's either windy or the connection of my pedals is getting real bad. Or just my pedals are struggling. I'm not I'm not sure. They've been acting up a little bit here. And it seems like they work when I tell them to, so I might be wind. Violent wind, though, if that is what it is. Our temp's looking much better. Crack the oil radiator open just a little more. Okay. Where are the bombers? I see that we are weaving. But I do not see that which we are weaving over. There they are. Alright. Probably see that. Alright, Tim's looking good. 26, 36 approximately, that's just safe. Now we just got a long flight ahead, so we gotta strap in. It's a long way to the target. Especially at IL-2 speed. Yeah, for sure those are IL-2s. Probably a later version, but uh, a little hard to tell from up here. thing that I sort of take issue with here is if we do happen to get jumped, like what are we going to do? We're in P-39s. Quite smart, I guess. And aim true. But once those guys are gone, they'll be, they'll be nigh on impossible to find again. I do have like a, a boost or a supercharger or something here. I don't really remember how to use that. I may have to figure that out because sometimes that comes in real handy. I do like to stay high because I want to be as high as I can be in the event that we if we do get jumped. Make sure I have as much energy as as I can. Yeah, we 
are not even halfway there. And you gotta remember these these IL twos gotta come back. Now I'm sure they're going just as fast as they can. They wanna rush them. But it does make for a long, sorta of, sorta of boring mission. But if I want to be able to do something about that, I've got to survive long enough to get promoted to the top. In my recent Yak 1 campaign, I survived long enough to get promoted once. And then uh, I think I collided with someone that I never even saw. That means uh, two careers that have ended in collision. What does that say? It probably means I'm just a little too uh, bulldogish. Collision is not a good option. Never a good option. Might as well be stationary, man. Whoa! The wind about took me there. Can't imagine it's likely to stall at 250 miles an hour. I think this thing stall speeds like 100 in a turn. Which is honestly pretty good. Ah, that's pretty. I got out in front of them a little bit here. Let's uh, should we come back? like I'm just like pivoting no lie I didn't see the IL2s on that on that pass where'd they go there they are alright so I'm still on track I figured I was because I saw the um, the other P39s I just didn't see the IL2s P39's got a nice gritty sort of hum like drone. I love it. P39 
real fun plane to fly. It takes some getting used to. For all the sniping you have to do with it because of its, you know, sort of heavy center mounted guns. It's not a stable gun platform. So you kind of just have to understand it. I'm not going to claim to be an expert by any stretch. I have done a little dogfighting, even in multiplayer with it. I've got some kills with the P-39. The old Finnish server. It'd be Edward. I don't think we've got a guy named Edward. So I'm going to assume that that is not a call to us. We are getting real close to the combat area, though. I expect it could be pretty hot. In fact, I think that's the city there. I think that's where we're going. Kind of a long flight. not looking too hot for that village or or they are looking too hot for that village the smoke all right that's uh that's a call to our il2s i do believe so they're going to be patrolling and looking for targets to attack seem to be still flying in a pretty straight line here. We'll stay with them. But it is time to be on high alert. I mean, there's an airfield right there. I don't know if they can actually take off from that airfield or not, but uh, I would assume anything... Oop, here comes the flak. Alright, boys, it's about to get hot. Stay sharp. We are in the thick of it now. Yeah, they're scrambling a bit. What is going on? I don't know. Alright, there they go. Looks like maybe they're going to hit the airfield itself. Should be fine. Airfield thinks a great target. Oh, rockets. Okay. They're destroyed. Well, they're doing some good then. I'm halfway tempted to go down there and buzz an artillery or something, but uh, probably not what I sh should do. Woo! Let's see my guys down there. It's going to get a little bit hard to keep track of who's who here. They kind of dispersed over the city. Here they are. And keep an eye on them. Keep an eye on their sixes. eye on my own six. They're coming back around here. Not too far. I 
And I don't know what's next for them, but I don't know if they've got bombs or if they just start ground strafing or what exactly their plan is now. So far it's surprisingly quiet. Which I mean hey, if we can get a ground off ground attack off with no consequence. You know, who's to complain? That's turret. I think someone else did. Nice. IL2s are killing it down there, literally. That's nice. wonder a little bit where my squadron is and when sort of we can think about RTB I assume they will do some strafing eventually here right Lost eyes on my guys. Any of my guys. P39s, IL2s. I don't think they will have headed home. There's somebody. IL2. more over that way. They did doing some good work. I gotta hand it to them. Gotta hand it to the lads. Knocking out targets. I'm just surprised and maybe a little disappointed that uh, there's so little going on. It's almost boring without anything to challenge us. Oh shoot, low range fighting him. Can I get a direction? That's me. Oh, I'm supposed to have seen him. I think I do see him. Alright, I spoke too soon. It's two. Uh, approach, approach, approach. got pretty hot pretty fast. Uh, there we go.
Ooh, he's eating up our aisle too. Yikes. pretty done but there was more than one there was at least two I don't know if there might have even been more than that but there was at least two a poor shot. Unlucky for me, he's having no trouble sticking to me. Alright, let's try and make this hard for him. Here we go. How you want to fight in a P-39. Much prefer to have you know, that schooled him a little bit. Try and climb. Let's see if we can regain some of that energy that I've lost. I'm taking long shots at me. I should be able to make that hard for him. Thirty-nine, not really a dog fighter. But I've got to try. Let's see if a little flap can help me out. So much. Hmm.
best hope is just for him to overshoot into cannon range. Right in the sun, I couldn't tell. The wind was ripping. And they just keep wanting to turn fight with me. I can't do that. up. out of ammo. So the question is, if I can scare him off, will he follow me? The answer is probably yes. But maybe also no. So let's let's see if I can't get away here. The wind temps are pretty high. Everything's pretty high. Open up, hit the deck, and just run. I know I'm trailing water vapor just because I'm running really hot. Yeah, he's back there, I think. This is really a crappy situation. He's fast. He has ammo, I assume. Well, heck, are these my guys? No, I don't think so. But I do have maybe some help here. Maybe. I can't tell that anyone's chasing me anymore. I have fully opened up. I have fully opened up. My coolant, I can't seem to cool her down. Not really a good thing. But I don't know that anyone's chasing me anymore. I think, uh, I think that AAA is helping me out. Which 
check the mirror there. I really just need my temps to come back down. I'm gonna open up everything and see if I can't help manage some temps a little better. Oh, tree! Otherwise, I'm afraid my engine's just gonna die on me. I've got everything full open. I can't bring it down. It's not good. She's overheated and she's stuck hot. I'll bring back the throttle a bit, maybe. If anyone's chasing me, it's give them a great day, but I don't know what else to do here. Can't can't cool down. trouble now is I'm over the woods. If my engine dies, I'm in trouble. I'm in deep trouble. Also, I'm headed the wrong way now. I think I might have to ditch. I just don't think my odds are good. running up here but yeah all of my temps are just bad if something bad happens I can maybe find a way out but bringing the bird home is not feeling real likely are getting worse. Oh, look at that. Alright. Get ready to ditch. Gotta not hit any trees. That's the main thing now. Not 
hit any trees and just bring it down nice and easy. Perfect. And hopefully we won't uh, obstruct too much traffic. Seems like a pretty quiet road, so maybe we'll be okay. We are taking a mission fail, it looks like. I See, that's the thing, though. I bet if I waited long enough, it would count as a success. But I'm not so patient. You just you'd have to wait long enough for uh, planes to get home. I think that's kind of a unfortunate thing with this particular uh, like career mode is like the whole success or failure depends exclusively base yeah, well yeah exclusively on you the main player which seems sort of weird but two kills is not bad not bad for a p39 not at all let's see how our guys did huh uh, they made it home. Uh, Alex got one. I lost my plane, but got two. But here's the thing with losing a plane. We've got so many planes in the unit. We got 11. 11 planes and 12 pilots. We started with, I think, 8 or, or so. Which was more than enough, really. So I'm fine with that. I survived. And uh, got a couple planes downed. I'd say we are doing a-okay. So we will call it there. That's like three days in a Kaban mission. That's quite a lot to crunch out in one sitting. So I'm going to take a break. But we are we are doing fairly well. Uh, in P-39s to this point. We will just have to see if I can keep it up for a while longer. Thank you to anybody who might have been watching. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And we will catch you all later.